the volume down a little bit, Doc. Yeah. Let's play it again. I just want to hear it in, in the background. I'll, I'll do an upload. Hello. That's good. Okay. Right now, uh, this is a story uh, about the three days of darkness. Uh, people all over the world. going to experience a being off the earth for three days and they go into a coma. Uh, it'll have to appear before the terrible day of the Lord and after the red moon. Now the red moon's already happened but it happened on a quarter moon because we uploaded that. The reason that it's a miracle is because you can only get a red moon when the moon passes through the shadow of the earth and that's what makes it red the blue spectrum is taken out it can't happen on a quarter moon it did on the 5th and 6th of December and I've said to everybody go and put your sink up and drain the water out of it through a small hole put some crumbs on the top and they'll go the opposite way you expect it to go that's because we've crossed the Milky Way equator My brother's daughter, Michelle. Her brother was Michael, and she was mar he was married to Michelle. And um, because Michelle is also a woman I was married to for 13 years until she threw me out. And um, her name's Michelle. Mary Megan, in fact. Her son Mason is um, his wife is Michelle. And. Um, my father's name was Rich Michael. I have an uncle Michael. I have a niece that's married to Michael. Uh, I have a nephew who's Dean Michael. Uh, my father's son, Ron, was Ron Michael. His son was Michael Reginald. No, Michael Ronald. And his son was uh, Michael Reginald. Okay. Michelle, Ron's daughter, my brother. She uh, and I got on very well. She daughter had a, a, a soft spot for me. And uh, all the adventurous things I was doing all around the world. And she was an athlete like I was. So the boobs got too big. And it started to pass. So she comes back from being in the Middle East and uh, England. And uh, we meet at my mother and father's place on Trevane Road. I've already said in some of my uploads that the Trevane Road Padstow and Trevone Road, uh, Padstow in, or Road uh, Street in uh, Sydney. The distance between the two is 1007672.6 miles, which is the diagonal of the Great Pyramid, and it's full, fullness with the pyramid capstone, missing capstone on top. And it's also the age difference between Prince uh, or Charles I. They died for crime. One zero zero seven two six days. That's where we met, Michelle and I. So we go up to the Catholic Club and have a meal. What the Catholic Club does, it gets the old age pensions in there for a, a, a dollar, they can have a meal and spend 50 bucks on a poker machine. Unreal. So uh, people gamble their houses. Church don't give us stuff. So we have a man, dollar. 
and she tells me a story. She's just come back from England and been in Morocco. Her and her boyfriend were smuggling dope into Morocco, of all places. Like, that's where it comes from, from Amsterdam. Like a stupid risk. <sighs> Finally takes the rap and ends up in jail. When he's in jail, he has a trip. Three days. Go for it. Talks to him. Shows him everything. He says, that woman, Michelle, you've got to marry us, the niece of Christ. And he's descended from the kings of Morocco. So, she tells him a story. She doesn't know anything about this. He's got to find her. No contact. So what I told you, she hasn't heard. I hadn't heard. So I said, well, do you love him? She said, yeah. I said, well, how about I get him back for him? Right. Where, you, where was you at? With him last. She said, oh, I was in London, but he's in jail in Morocco. I said, well, let's go down and find a phone box. A phone. So we come to this lovely modern phone. You put your calling card in and cheap calls and all that. And she phones a Jewish lady who owned a guest house in uh, London. And uh, she reminds her who she is, and she said, I'm looking for Jaime. She turned around, the lady did. There's Jaime just walking the door. <laughs> so, uh, they get together and he tells the story and uh, how they would follow him all over London, people in, in suits. And, uh, the amazing thing is, he's got, now he's got a criminal record and uh, he gets let out, comes back to London, they let him in and they follow him everywhere because they know what's going on. They've been following him a lot. So the 144,000 will have a three day coma like Jaime did, and uh, one of my relatives at the moment is having a similar experience. And uh, closer to home, uh, one of the boyfriends of uh, one of my stepdaughters is uh, having a three day experience. Very interesting. Okay, so you've got the, the moon, quarter moon, or half moon rather, quarter of its cycle, quarter illumination. Just right out in the sunlight, you can see half of it, right? Not a full moon. Cannot change colour, and it turns red. So these are going to start waking up now, and they will be telling everybody on the planet, in your name of God, Brian and Galati.